XD from around about five weeks in the future. And yeah, I forgot to film an intro, so silly me. Um, so yeah, this video is just going to basically tell you what happened in Warley, what there is to do in case you want to go in future. And also it will give you my reviews and my thoughts on some of the layouts there. So yeah, anyway, back onto the video. There's a bus, a really big bus actually, and it's very old. I can't believe we actually put a bus on there. Some actual steam engines, not powered by electrics, powered by actual steam. That's just crazy, I didn't even know you could get those. It's crazy how detailed this is. Compared to some of the other layouts, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, this is meant to be a model railway, but as you can see here, they've done a house and everything. They've paid quite a lot of attention to detail here, and that's what I like about this railway. It's not just the trains which they have, and it's, and it's not just the size of the layout, it's how it's done too, and that's what I think is important with model railways. You've got to make sure that all of the scenery and details are good. Still, I've got a lot of now, this railway, I've... This model railways, I think it's really cool. They've gone to try and make it a city instead of a countryside, which you see, you see on most the countryside. Comes a train. Right into the behind the scenes. We're not supposed to see this. It's probably the biggest train I've seen today, <laughs> apart from the giant one over there. Now this layout is definitely the smallest one I've seen today and probably the smallest one here at Worley. It seems to be constructed on some sort of tray but for the tiny, the tiny amount of space for the layout the detail is absolutely immense. I don't know if you can see but like there's posters and so many people. It's just crazy how much, how much detail we've gone into here. Same with this one, I mean the smaller layouts seem to be the most detailed compared to that one over there for example that one's not detailed at all it's just a few trains to be honest whereas these ones absolutely tiny amount of space and we've managed to do so much with detail that's what i love about going to these events seeing all the detail which people put into it and seeing the models we've seen this one earlier but as i was saying the smaller the layout the more detail because this one is not really impressed with the details it looks like they've just taken a few toys from from a children's place set and put it on a layout with some trains whereas some of the others they've actually spent time putting detail in so yeah it is impressive that they've got a big layout but I'm not very happy with the amount of detail into this there's not really much at all now this layout absolutely amazing I like how they've gone for basically loads of detail as well as the size they've not gone over the top with size but then they've they've done a nice amount of detail they've not done too much detail it's just perfect and also they've got a small screen up there telling you the timetable and yeah what trains are running which i think is a very nice added detail to this layout and that's the sort of detail which i'm looking for in a really nice layout the waves on this they've done really well they've added extra detail to the waves to make it look added extra detail to the sea to make it look like there's waves instead of just leaving it flat which some people do and i also like the background how it's gradiented Now this, my favourite one so far, I'm a massive Lego fanatic, so to see this as a wall, it's just absolutely amazing. And also, just for small kind of details, they've got the Costa lock copy. I'm a big fan of Costa too. They've also got a Lego store in there, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, absolutely amazing, even just for detail on my houses. Even though this event is mainly for Modern Railways, there are loads of different shops to come to too, which I think is really good, especially if you've got a railway like I do, a Modern Railway, which you want stuff for. Time for lunch. The good thing about this event is that there's so many different places to eat inside the 
inside the halls where it is, and also outside there's there's a Starbucks and there's also there's also like two weather spoons. So yeah, really great. Lexi's travel intervention time now. Okay, so today's travel intervention will be whoa. Okay, let's have a look at trying to guess this. Um, maybe. Um. I don't know, maybe it's Guatemala? Guatemala. Oh, close. Very far to the top, so maybe somewhere in Europe, maybe like Norway or something? Very close. Oh, Finland? Finland. It's either Finland or Sweden. Okay, definitely Sweden then. Is it right? Yay, we did it! Now, back to the video. This one's called Old Elm Park. One of my favourite ones, once again, because just the amount of detail which we've gone into. My favourite layout's the one where they've gone into a lot of detail. And also the way that they've managed to seamlessly transition it into another part of the layout through um, the engine house over there. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Now this one's absolutely amazing, they've actually spent time doing the buildings and instead of just making them 2D, they've made them 3D. And yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. Even though there's much detail here, and like I said earlier, I'm usually looking for detail, just with just the amount of time it must have taken them to put those buildings together. I mean, I like how they've done it, free, how they've made the buildings 3D, is usually they're just 2D. So yeah, that's what I really like about this one. <laughs> this layout is called Kensington Addison Road. It's really hard to say actually. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a really great amount of detail on here. But the only thing which I think lets it down is how they've just printed off the side of the houses. They could have put a bit more detail into that. He's also got very good lighting, so in all of the lamps, which I really love about it, it it's got lights and also the signals I lit up too, which I find really cool. As I said earlier, the detail here is absolutely immense. Even in the station, they've got a ticket box and everything, which very rarely people do on these railways. They mainly focus on the trains, but yeah, just for checkered flooring and everything, I think it it's a really nice addition to this railway. And even all the lights, they've been lit up too, so yeah. Really, really good so far. This layout here, probably one of the most interesting so far, just the way that they've taken it. I've never really seen someone do like a World War kind of themed layout before, so yeah, I, that's a really out of box inventive idea, which I think is really nice to see on a railway. This layout's very nice, it's got actual lights added to the trains for extra effect and everything. That's just absolutely amazing. Once again, I love it when they have loads of added detail. So, for example, this house here, it's been it's been constructed as a proper thatched roof instead of just, like, printed off plastic roof, which is a very nice touch. And also, the light inside also gives it a bit more added detail. This is probably one of the best ones here so far. This one's extremely detailed. This layout here, it's a very different approach to modern railway because they've also got some scale electrics in there I think which is really cool to see just to see that it's not just modern railway <laughs> 